You are a loser. Mind blown. And welcome to another episode of A Few Minutes with me, Jesus. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending some time with me. Please, don't tell my wife about this. Oh, me? Nah, I'm just a worm. <laughs> anyway, question of the day. If you don't know, every day I ask a question. You can answer it yourself in your head or on your daily drive or whatever you're doing in the shower when you're alone and you got the uh, jerkins out there. But... Hey, jerking around's for jerks. This is the question of the day to get you thinking, get you thinking, get your mind flowing, get me ready to the day. So if anything, this is my own self-therapy. Anyway... You are a loser, mind blown, boom. You are a loser who lives with a cat and have for some quite time. One day, your cat can't take it anymore. It's out and starts talking. What do you think that cat says to you? Well, I do own two cats, used to own three, rest in peace. The other one left me and left me for another family. But if I know cats, I know that cat's gonna talk some real shit to you. I gonna call you a bitch? Quit acting like a little bitch. Probably and call you everything in the book. Cats don't really give a damn. That's what I like about cats. Cats don't run up unless they're hungry. And if they're not hungry, good luck. Good luck. And if they want to get pet, they come to you. You know, you could touch them a little bit. You know, scratch them, scratch them in the booty and all that. And after that, they gone. So I know a cat, a cat is very firm. A cat knows what it wants. And if it doesn't want it, it's not going to fuck with you. The only reason it probably stays with you the loser is because you know knows you got a credit card knows you got a job you know it's gonna feed you knows you know clean that shit up and go on about its day this cat gonna probably talk some shit you a bitch get your life together what you doing here why are y'all here playing with me and not playing with someone else some of the things i i'm pretty sure it would say and cats cats you know they they're stuck up so they probably have a whole big vocabulary, probably bigger vocabulary than me and you put together. When you're away in the house, what do you think they're doing? You think they're really just sleeping? They're out there reading your books. They're out there educating themselves how to be a better cat, how to be like the next level cat. If cats were able to get credit and take out a loan, they would probably have like a massive, look at them. They're, they're, most cats, a lot of cats, they're YouTube famous. You ever go look at a cat video on YouTube or on Instagram or some other type of social media site? You're out there. You're staring. You know why? Because cats got your attention. They know they're cute. They know they're fluffy. So they know when you're a loser, they're probably disappointed at yourself, at you. They're like, ma'am, ma'am, Bob, you know what? Damn, Jesus. What you doing out here? It's your life. Get your life together. Come on. What you doing here sitting on this couch? I've been peeing on your stuff all week. You still haven't cleaned a single drop. Women don't want to come in here. Men don't want to come out here. You couldn't even sell your body for half off. I'd be like, damn, cat, you right. You're right. That's why uh, every time I open the door in the morning, my cat runs out. It's tired of this shit. It's tired of living a life with a loser. And if a cat had the money, probably buy some plane tickets and uh, go hit Crete. Go hit that cat island. That's where probably that cat island started. A couple cats, you know, they got together. They were like, what's your owner like? They're like, damn, you're a real loser. What's your owner like? Damn, she's a real loser. How many cats? Shit. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's just get out of here. Hop on a plane. Planes don't know. We're sneaky. We're cats. Meow. We're going to get on this plane wherever it lands. That's where we're going to establish ourselves. One of the cats wrote a book about the pilgrims. They said, damn, them pilgrims, they left and they planted themselves. That's what we're going to do. As cats and as a cat's generation, they will think, thank us and we're good. So a couple cats, you know, they snuck on, you know, American Airlines, American Airlines, and probably Lufthansa, and then, you know, wherever got that cat line, they finally said, drop it. I smell fish. This is a good island. Boom. A couple cats drop there. Next thing you know, a few years later, boom. Cat Society, Cat Nation. If you ever see that documentary, or even Google or search Cat Island, it's not the people that run the town. It's the cats. People come visit the cats. 
you might get some fish. You see the owners, you see the people feeding the cats fish, you know, fresh ass food. Not that corn shit you got in your bag. I had to take my cat the other day to get a uh, surgery. Got blockage in its bladder. Can't piss. Just piss little little droplets. Had me going. Had to go pay for it. Couple stacks. I said, "Damn, this cat. This cat's really taking me for one." I guess uh, you know, just like a a feline. You know, you pay for some expensive shit. Then boom, they're out the door. As soon as I brought that cat back, boom, gone. Back in the wilderness. I said, damn. Your name is Buddy. But you're not a good friend right now. What do you think your cat would say to you? Come on, be honest. You think he'll tell you the truth? Or even your dog. I feel like a dog will lie to you. He'll be like, it's okay. It's okay, bro. It's okay, girl. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Cat. Cat. I mean, a bird sing you a song. Nice little tune. But anyway, y'all think about it. Think about what your your pet, if you have a pet, or if you had a pet, what that dog, cat, whatever you had, alligator, would say to you. Would it be honest? Or just eat you? Once you've, uh, you failed at providing. Can't even provide for yourself or the cat. Anyway, topic, topic of the day is, Oof. Saw on the news, saw on the IG news. I think it was complex. Anyway, uh, man's out there, you know, with his girlfriend. And then his second girlfriend walks in the door like, surprise, honey. And then, boom, cut, catches him with the, another girlfriend and a couple kids. The dude had nothing to say. I think she started running to the car, started going to the car, and he shot her. You know, rest in peace. Uh, you said she died. Bad, just crazy. Like you go to the extent of you get caught. You know, usually if you get caught cheating, you're like, oh, babe, it's not what it looks like. You know, I know she naked and I'm naked and I got this kind of mom, but it's not what you think. But imagine. It's not what you think. I'm just a co-pilot. You're to that point where you're like, ah. I probably, I could probably get away with it. If I shoot her Like what kind of I wonder what he thought about If he was Would I get away with this murder Or would I get away with this cheating Would she believe me He's like oh, I gotta You know I gotta weigh out these options And then he did Where he had another girl there And I think like one or two kids Children They said children So that's plural For those Learning English But that's just crazy To think about Like You're at that point where maybe this isn't his first rodeo. He's been caught a few times. He hasn't been getting away with it. He weighed out his options. He said, maybe if I shot her, just maybe no one would hear in the neighborhood. My girlfriend would be like, Did you get her. What was that? What dropped outside? It's just crazy. Obviously, he was apprehended, arrested, and it took a couple mug shots. But when you hit that limit of cheating and you just don't know what to do, I don't feel like grabbing the gun is probably the best option. He should have just probably let her go. Or maybe he just didn't want to be in any more relationships with any of these women. He was like, okay, I had it. I did this dating thing. I did this scene. You know, two women, couple women. It's just not really my thing no more. Hey, let's try prison. Prison. I get away from all these women. Now I have a good excuse why I can't call them. Hey, babe, sorry I couldn't get with you. Sorry I couldn't pick up the kids. Sorry we couldn't go out to dinner. Sorry I couldn't meet your family. I'm locked up. Had a little accident. Fouled my pistol. Fired my pistol. Yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in jail for murder. I wonder if the other girl was relieved. I mean, oh, Harvey, thank God. you would think like, damn, you're going to be sad. You just witnessed some crazy stuff, but it could have been you. Oh, no. As a woman, it could have been the kids. 
As a mother, now you're worried. What kind of man am I dating? Am I really? Is my? Can I choose the right man? Because obviously I was with this man and my life could have been in danger. My kids could have been in danger. If anything, this is this is a good eye opener for the woman or for any woman. Like you really got to take a deeper look at who you're bringing into the house or whose house you're going into. Because uh, bitches be crazy. Man be crazy. Think about it. Just be careful out there. You know, hopefully, uh, wife was talking about, you know, I think I need a pepper spray. You know, my knife, my knife not fast enough. Hey, go get yourself a pepper spray, taser, whatever you need to be safe out here in this crazy world. Because honestly, anybody in any time can just tick. Man, my headphones keep falling off. So ladies, be, be safe out there. Men, you be safe out there. Everybody think about those decisions. Because next thing you know, I'm going to find you on Complex News. Latest article. All right. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you for joining me. If you stayed for the whole video, if you haven't, oh, well, thanks for the few seconds. I hope you uh, have a good day. Good morning. Good night. Good everything. And now uh, remember, no matter what, you're going to be all right. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a Jesus day.